after the fight, you had some words for Conor McGregor. Of course, you're being asked about him over and over again. Do you think he has anywhere to go, or, or is, are you confident that, that he will be fighting you next? Check. Straight up. This is chess, man. You got nowhere to go. You're in check. So you need to defend. Don't vacate the thing because, you know what, this isn't about the money fight. What it is about pride, man. You don't want to see me holding your real belt, buddy, so you need to defend it. And if you want, go ahead and just leave it right there. Sit it down and just walk away, okay? Just sit it down and walk away. Nobody will get hurt. Do you get the impression that, that, that Connor will want a challenging fight like yourself or that he will walk away from it? I know Connor. Connor's a gamer. He's an athlete. And as much as I talk and everything else, it would be the most impressive game fight in the world. Uh, and I feel that uh, if he wants a game opponent, you can't go to Nate. Nate's not your game opponent. You want a righteous opponent. You want somebody who wants to talk. <laughs> Look, I say some of my best material. I was quiet this whole entire time, man. I would say some of my best material for you, buddy. So if you start hearing things about Nate, will, will you start talking up? Or do you feel like you've done the talking, though? That is the talk, right? This now. is what it's about. You have an interim title. I'm not hurt. I'm definitely not hurt. They didn't give me any disciplinary, no violation, no nothing. So uh, if I'm not hurt... You need to defend straight up. So that's in the rule book. UFC, I didn't write it. UFC did. Uh, Dana White has said that he was hopeful that, that Connor could fight by the end of the year. That's December 30th. We're not too far away from that. Could you be ready in time to fake Connor at, on, on December 30th? I don't know. I have to check with my secretary, but I'm pretty sure I'm available.